Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Mario and today we're doing an unboxing. Stick around. So I know I have unboxed some air fryer ovens recently, but uh, I wasn't too impressed with them and I had a couple of issues. So I decided to move on or not move on and continue using my GoWise USA air fryer oven. I reached out to GoWise and another couple of companies and that's really the last I want to mention of them. Uh, to see if they would want to supply me with a newer air fryer oven to do a comparison. And in the past, GoWise has. However, they felt that uh, they didn't want to do that this time around. And that's their prerogative and I appreciate the support in the past. However, I did have another company reach out to me all on their own to say, hey, we have an air fryer oven. We want to send it to you and we want to know what you, what you think. So here it is. OMMO. I don't know if it's just OMMO or OMO or what the case is. In any case, this is a 17 plus quart capacity it's claiming. It's a countertop air fryer oven and food dehydrator. It also has a rotisserie. So this is very similar to what the GoWise does except it's larger. Where the GoWise is 12.7 quarts, this is 17 plus. The model number of this is OM-AFO for air fryer oven, I assume, 868. We're going to unbox this, we're going to compare it to the GoWise USA air fryer oven, and then we're going to cook. It's like Christmas coming early. Okay, so this is just a shipping box, which is nice. The box itself is inside, so I am going to put this on the floor and take it out the only way I know how. So here it is. A uh, very simple box. It doesn't give any major explanations. However, it does not look quite like the GoWise air fryer USA oven, but I suspect it's uh, very much the same inside except for its larger capacity. On the side here, uh, it's a little hard to read so I'll read it out. It's saying it's 1800 watts. The GoWise USA air fryer oven is 1600 watts. So this is more powerful but it is bigger so that is a welcome addition. It will go from temperatures from 180 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. However, the GoWise USA air fryer oven goes up to 430 degrees, and we'll see if that matters or not. Uh, we'll worry about that later. It is a dehydrator, just like the GoWise air fryer oven, 90 to 170 degrees, 17 plus quarts. Now, I don't know why they need to say plus quarts. Maybe it's just over 17. Uh, the maximum cooking time on the timer is 60 minutes, which is the same as the GoWise air fryer USA oven. Uh, most air fryers I see, regular air fryers, are 30 minutes. 3.7 foot power cord a little on the short side but it'll be plenty enough for me and uh, the dehydrator has a maximum of 24 hours abs housing 120 volt i have to say the box does look considerably larger than the go wise box i don't know if that's because of accessories or just because of the larger casing uh, we will compare the accessories that came with the go wise versus the ommo and uh, that will be another key factor on some decisions I make. It actually comes with a pretty nice recipe book. I know they all come with recipe books or pamphlets of some kinds, but this actually has 75 pages maybe, and it's a, it's a nice addition, welcome addition, especially for uh, the newbies. Here is the user manual, very large, descriptive. These are the ends. For the uh, kebab rotisserie it does come with skewers let's see how many eight skewers this is the handle to take out the rotisserie basket or trays or anything of that nature this is the rod for the rotisserie or any of the other accessories where if you're doing a whole chicken you will put the spikes on the end and the chicken inside or for the kebab uh, trays here are the little spears that would go into the end of that rod uh, I don't see the screws for this, so I assume they're in the package. Then this is bigger than I expected. I'm going to put this on the floor and take it out. And there it is. Let's get this plastic off. Ungrounded power cord. Uh, I expected it to be ungrounded since it has a plastic casing. However, it is nice and thick. I will not need an extension for this because it looks plenty long enough. One thing I'll mention, this actually really stuck to the counter well. And what I noticed is it actually has suction cup feet, which isn't too bad. One thing I noticed about my GoWise, it easily slides on the counter because it is a, a laminate. So uh, this could actually be a welcome addition, but we'll see how that works out. Let's stick this back on. It's like unwrapping. Oh, you see that? It's sticking to the stove really well. We'll open the door. 
after we remove the tape. Like the GoWise USA air fry oven, this is not a balanced door. It seems like that is the case for many of these. I would prefer a balanced door, but I haven't had any problems with the GoWise unit yet. So um, I don't expect to have any problems here. The door is actually thick. The two layers of plastic, or it feels like plastic window, are actually much further apart. Maybe it's a, a better insulator. Let's take out the inside part. I'm used to seeing these wrapped in plastic. We have two mesh trays. Now, these have a, a, a curve in the middle. They have an edge, as you can see there. So unlike the GoWise, it, uh, that's flat edge to edge. This actually will keep the food from uh, coming out. Anytime I put these trays in and outside the oven, uh, sometimes some foods that are rounded, like maybe fries or whatever, or potato puffs might tend to come out. Also here, and I'll show you later, is the grates have larger holes. And this is actually a welcome addition, and I'll explain why later. And you get two of these. You get a basket, again, very similar to the GoWise. This is a different latching mechanism. We'll see how well that works out. In here we have a, a drip tray. It does have some uh, tall areas here that might help with the strengthening. It does feel rigid enough. I don't have a piece of uh, silicone mat I can put in here yet, but I will get something at another time to cut that out. Slides on the bottom nicely. So now let's compare the accessories in the oven itself to the GoWise. So let's talk a few things here. When this oven, the GoWise, first came out, it was about $220. Now I've seen this between $120 and $140 all day long on Amazon. This is a 12.7 quart. Now GoWise also has like a 14 quart, which runs close to $180. The OMMO, I have seen on Amazon between $150 and $165. Now when you go to the link, sometimes they have a button that says clip this coupon and you can get an extra $15 off. So between $150 and $165. So it is more expensive than the GoWise. Initially I would expect that to be the case because you got 12.7 quarts versus 17 plus, as they call it. Let's compare the accessories. Here are the two baskets that come. This is the one with the GoWise. They are the same diameter, and the GoWise appears to be just a smidge wider. However, it does have a deeper groove on the side. That being said, they are identical size baskets. The GoWise comes with two of these flat mesh trays, and as mentioned, the mesh on the OMMO are larger. And the reason why I like the larger, are these are a pain in the butt to clean. I have a, a bristle brush that I poke through to clean this, and it's hard to clean. But now if we look, the tray on the OMMO is larger. Now I'm not going to say that's how it gets from 12 to 17 quarts, or 12.7 to 17 quarts larger. There's also a height difference inside the oven. But that being said, when I cook 12 chicken wings, I cram 12 wings onto this space. With the OMMO, I'll be able to more easily fit 12 wings. However, they will start to come up on the side because there is a curved area here. So the larger mesh is a welcome addition. You get two with the OMMO and you get two with the GoWise. The handles to remove the trays. Here's the one from GoWise. Here's the one for OMMO. I found they find this more and more common that there isn't a plastic handle. Um, it's probably not a big issue, but uh, to be honest, I like the fact that the GoWise one has a nice plastic handle. However, you will see that the OMMO is uh, probably at least an inch wider, meaning the rotisserie basket is probably, or the rotisserie uh, kebab area is uh, going to be wider, so it'll fit a little bit more. Not a lot more, a little bit more. Here are the rotisserie kebab trays. They are identical in size. They both come with skewers. They are the same length. The GoWise came with 10 skewers. The OMMO came with eight skewers. Let me double check that. Yep, eight. So you get less with the OMMO as far as the skewers go. They both come with two of these uh, spears or spits, I think they're called. Uh, they look identical. They're probably stamped out of the same factory, but you get two each for that rotisserie chicken you want to do. 
here are the bars that actually hold either the rotisserie or the kebab tray or other things you will notice the OMMO is probably an inch and a half longer so you can fit a slightly larger uh, bird in there or longer kebabs if you wanted to otherwise they you know again they look identical there are two things that the OMMO does not come with that the Go Wise comes with. One thing is the basket. Now I've used this basket to cook fish in and steaks once, fish more than once. And uh, while I don't use this anymore, uh, it would have been nice if they had included it with the OMMO. However, that would have driven up the price. So for me, knowing now, what I didn't know then is this is not important to me, but it's something you need to consider. The other thing that the GoWise comes with, that the OMMO does not come with, is this tray here. This tray here is useful for uh, larger items that you want to put on the rack, maybe uh, a steak or toast, things of that nature. So I'm a little disappointed in that. But again, it comes down to a price point. If this was $165 and this was $120 and this, they came with what I'm showing you here, this comes with more. However, it is a smaller capacity. That being said, let's measure the inside dimensions. Now, they are listed on the website. However, I want to measure it myself because sometimes descriptions can be slightly inaccurate. So we are going to open both doors here. We are going to measure the depth to the front edge of where the rack would stop. The OMMO would be about nine and a quarter inches. The go wise is about nine and a quarter inches deep. For width, it's just over 11 and a half inches from the bump out. And the reason why I'm doing the bump out is because you can't push food past there, where the go wise just has a slightly smaller lip, but we're gonna measure that just the same. So again, we said 11 and a half with the go wise we have just over 10 and a quarter. So this is about one and a quarter inches wider. Height wise, we're gonna go from the drip pans or the bottom of the drip pans. And I will pull up the rack to try to get a more accurate answer. The go wise is just over seven inches. And the OMMO is getting close to about seven and a half inches. One other thing I need to apologize for is that the go wise also came with this basket. And uh, I apologize for not catching that the first time around. I was uh, working faster than my eyes could see. Okay, the outside dimensions. The OMMO is slightly taller and it is gonna be about 16, just short of 16 inches tall. The go wise is going to be about 14 and three quarters. The width of the OMMO as its widest width is gonna be about 14 and a half where the go wise is going to be about 12 and a quarter. The depth, extending past the handle for the go wise is about 12 and three quarters. With the OMMO, with the handle, it is 15. So the OMMO is larger. However, keep in mind, it does have a higher capacity and uh, it runs at up to 1800 watts versus 1600 watts. And now I'm gonna show something I normally don't. Someone pointed out it would be nice is they wanna see all around the unit. So let's look at the side profiles here. As you see, the OMMO does have that, uh, I don't know if I wanna call it a roof peak like it does towards the front. Go wise, you can see here. Now the go wise has a few vents on each side where the OMMO they have a vent that goes all around the top. So this reminds me more of my original Go Eyes regular air fryer. It's just a way of venting out more heat. On the back, you have a vent, a uh, very thick power cord here, as mentioned. And the Go Eyes has a similar vent. The bottom of the units, the go wise is very messy. And one thing I found, which I'd like to point out, is you're gonna see a lot of oil on the bottom here. And I'm gonna explain where I think that's coming from. It's probably not as simple as you think. But it does make a mess of my countertops every time I use it.
the OMMO on the bottom. It has four suction feet and vent holes along the edge. This is what I want to show you about the GoWise and then we're going to look at the OMMO and see if it's the same deal. Now I suspect the same thing may happen to the OMMO. But at the bottom, this isn't a continuous cage inside the air fryer. And the same goes for the GoWise. When the drip pan overfills with grease or maybe it splatters onto the side, it drips down into these edges. And I suspect these edges aren't perfectly air or water tight. It gets under the machine and drips underneath the plastic. Now, I've only noticed that more recently with the GoWise, probably because I don't clean it every time I use it. It's more like every other time. So I don't know if that's something that would happen just to the GoWise or all of these units because there's a very good chance these come out of the same factory. You know, a lot of time it's just a little, as they say, lipstick, lipstick and mascara to kind of fix this up. So one thing you'll notice here is the number of positions for the racks. The GoWise has three. The OMMO has one, two, three, four, five, six positions. Now, granted, you're probably not going to fit anything up on this six position way up here, except for maybe if you were doing some dehydrating. That being said, if you were going to do that, you would need to purchase additional trays. But it's nice to see that depending on the food, you have a lot more options as far as height goes than with the GoWise. Real world, is it going to make a difference? I don't have an answer yet, but I'll probably put the wings up as high as I can get them. Before we get started here, there's one thing I'm going to mention that always bothered me about the GoWise. When you power up the unit and you go to select what kind of food you want, if you accidentally pass the food you want, you have to go through like 16 settings to get back to the beginning. You can't go backwards to get where you want to go. That being said, I don't even bother with that now. I just turn it on. I start it at the default fry setting. I go in, I change my temperature and time and go from there. That being said, I think this would be good for uh, a beginner. 16 settings here. So if you're a newbie, maybe you'll go to Wings Pizza and just pick the presets that you want and go from there. But I always feel that these presets are a starting point and not an absolute. So the OMMO power button, light and rotisserie button, we'll press it. If we press the fry button, it defaults to 400 degrees at 20 minutes. The meat, 25 minutes at 370. Fish, 390. Shrimp, 320. Chicken, 20. Cake, 30 minutes, 350. This looks like a skewer or rotisserie. We have three minutes at 400 degrees. And this, I believe, is the hydro button, which falls to 90 degrees. And you can manually adjust the time and temperatures. So chicken, it's saying 380. You can manually change that, which I normally do anyway. And the time as well, you can change up and down. If we press and hold it, it just goes up in singles. With the GoWise, I was very annoyed that it would jump in 10. While the jumping by 10 was sometimes convenient, if you wouldn't release that button quick enough, it would jump up 10 minutes and really annoy me. And here in the book, you will see what it says the default times and temperatures are for any of those settings. And that button there is the rotisserie, the one I had pointed out earlier, right here. This starts and stops the rotisserie. Okay, so that was just a quick overview. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cook something, and we're gonna cook chicken wings. Yes, I know, you're saying, ah, oh, not wings again. However, when someone says to me, hey, I just bought an air fryer, what should I cook first? You know what those two things are? French fries and chicken wings because they're the easiest thing to cook. And it's pretty much bulletproof to cook those in these. It, it's pretty straightforward. Also, the next several videos I do, some will be comparing to the GoWise and some will be comparing not to the GoWise simply because I already know what the GoWise can do. However, the baseline for me is gonna be the wings and from there I'll be able to tell if I need more time or temperature and things of that nature. So that being said, let's start to cook. But one other thing, before I start to cook, I am gonna clean the accessories that came with the new OMMO, and I am going to turn on the oven to bake off any oils that may have been from manufacturing. One other thing is I'd really like to thank uh, the 
um, marketing group, the distributor that uh, contacted me and sent me this oven it is much appreciated. And uh, with that, let's get going. Okay, here are the wings. These are Purdue wings. They come with these little tips on them and I used to throw them away. However, recently I keep them and what I do is I'll cook them maybe on the shelf underneath or after the fact and just eat you know the skin and the little bit of chicken that might be on there uh, the other thing you could do is put those in a soup I'm gonna be using my uh, all-season mix that I make and for those of you who haven't seen my previous video this is an empty container I put one and a half cups of pink Himalayan salt one cup of uh, ground pepper a half a cup of granulated garlic and then I'll throw in some cayenne pepper and some uh, smoke smoked paprika in there so I uh, like it on the more seasoned side. So I'm gonna put on a bit. So for those of you who are coughing and sneezing already from the amount I'm putting on here, I apologize. Sorry, not sorry. Okay, I'll flip these over and do the same. And it doesn't hurt to kind of just push it in. Now, I've reduced using oil on chicken wings unless I really need those herbs to stick or if I need a little extra fat in my diet that day. But because this has skin on it, there's plenty of fat on this and uh, we don't necessarily need to add any extra virgin olive oil or avocado oil or whatever your preference is. Yes, I know that's a lot of seasoning. That's the way I like it and usually the way my family likes it. These are the trays. Again, the Go Wise tray is a little bit smaller, as you can see right here. But we are now going to throw six on each. And I like cooking it uh, this side up because when I turn it, I like the look of the, the cooked side here. So six again. And I buy the lightest package of wings I could find, not because it's less money, but because the wings are smaller and I prefer the way the smaller wings cook up faster and nicer in my opinion okay. and these pans just about had it I've had these for like 15 plus years I've got two new pans they're kind of special and I want to show you those at some point as well all right here we go six on each I am gonna cook these later uh, I could probably stick a couple here maybe just to show you it's a little easier since there's only six on here but if I put them on a second shelf, they're just not going to cook anywhere near as quickly. I'll put a couple over here. These are kind of like a light, nice little snack to have. There we go. Normally I would never preheat my air fryers. However, I want to make this as a even competition as possible. So I'm going to preheat these both to 400 for a couple of minutes anyway. So I'm going to just hit the power button on the go wise. I'm just going to go to the fry setting, hit the power button. It's going to start, but then I'm going to hit the temperature button, then change the temperature to 400. And then I'm going to go to the time and just blast it all the way up. See, I always miss what I want with the go eyes with that. It's kind of annoying, but it is what it is. And you'll notice with the go eyes, when I open it, close it, the unit still appears to be running with the OMO. Now the default for the GoWise is 400 if you were to pick the chicken wing settings with the OMO it is uh, going to be 380 actually I hit the button up. I am actually going to do a 400 to keep it even. I'm going to press this. This is not only the power button but it is the start button. Now this is starting. The one thing I like is if I want to change the temperature on the GoWise it doesn't work. You have to press the temperature button and do it. But here you can just press any button you want quick. You can adjust the temperature anytime. Now again, this only goes up to 400 where the GoWise goes up to 430. But now as far as the time goes, let's see if this will let me go backwards instead up to a, an hour. Nope, it won't. The GoWise does allow you to go backwards. So we are just gonna go all the way up to 60 minutes. We don't need that much time, but it's just a convenience factor because I'm going to set my regular timer on the microwave. And now once this is preheated, we're going to start with the chicken. When I open it, it appears to shut off. Safety feature. Turn it back on. It will continue. Okay, let's get these in. Start with the go wise. Put it on the top shelf. I'm happy that nothing's hitting because I'm not stuffing 12 wings in there. And for the 
OMMO. I'm going to put these on the top shelf or close to the top shelf. The manual does not discuss where to put the wings. They just say the top four positions, you know, to use. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I reset the timer to an hour on both. I am going to check these. Normally, uh, in the go-wise, I'll cook them for 20 minutes and then I'll flip them. And then usually I'll turn these up to 430 in the go-wise to get that crisp up. Now, I cannot do that because the OMMO can't do it. So I'm going to leave it at 400 through the full cook cycle. So in about 20 minutes or so, give or take, we are going to check to see where we're at. Okay, 20 minutes. Let's take these out, look at them, and flip them. Looking at these, I'd say they're pretty close to even cooked. The OMMO may be slightly more cooked. Uh, in general, I think these will cook faster simply because when I cook a dozen wings, they are packed and not a lot of airflow can get around the wings. Where in this case, there's a lot more airflow potential. So 20 minutes and I would say they're on par again with the OMMO being cooked or browned slightly more on the top. Now, one thing I want to do is I am going to spin this around to make it easier for me because I like to rotate the chicken as well when I flip it. So we are going to start and put the go wise back in. And now the OMMO. Now, on a good day, uh, 12 to 15 more minutes to cook the wings on this side. As I mentioned, I'd expect it to cook maybe a little bit faster because there's much more airflow potential. The other thing is, I believe with the OMMO, the wings are actually slightly higher up near the heating element. So that may also have made a difference on the, uh, the brownness on top. Now, wings you typically cook chicken in general to 165 however I like it cooked a little bit extra um, I've never gotten food poisoning in my house I've gotten food poisoning at uh, takeout places because the chicken was undercooked so for me you may say hey Mario that's overcooked however I cook it at a little higher temperature and the chickens always still great and still juicy okay so it was 20 minutes I flipped it this is now going on 10 minutes and this actually in the OMMO looks like it's already done. So I'm going to pull those out right now. Put those on that plate. The go wise has gone about the same time. It's a little less crisp on the top, but I am going to take them out anyway. And while I'm at it, I am going to power off these units. The fans will still run. Okay, and as you can see, the OMMO do look more crisp, but again, it is more powerful. The wings were slightly closer to the element. I am gonna leave these as is. I would say in another minute or so, the GoWise wings would actually be just as browned on the top. Now, while these cool down for a minute, um, the fan is still going on the GoWise. Uh, displays off it, and it's cooling same with the oh look at that they both stopped at the same time so they both needed uh, about less than a minute to cool down the OMMO the noise level of the fan starts out low and as it kicks up it goes high so at the beginning I was like oh it's quieter but in reality it's not because it does uh, get louder as it goes but in the end you're probably not going to be able to tell much difference between the two in that regards so that being said, before I feed myself, my daughter gets to pick the wing that she wants, or wings. Come over and pick one. You can pick one for either tray. You want this one, huh? Yeah, that one looks pretty good, huh? All right, that's going to her. You want to wave hello? Hello, peeps. Uh -huh. All right. OK, 
Okay, here we go. I got the blue tape there. Uh, the display on the GoWise is red. On the OMMO, it's uh, whitish blue, so I'll put that there to remind me. And I am going to grab the six wings. I usually have six. And I like the small ones because they crisp up more, but we'll do three. And we're going to grab another three here. One, two, and three. Okay, first thing I usually like to do, usually I put these in a bowl now, and I'll put some hot sauce on them, but I don't want to hot sauce them now. I expect these wings to taste identical. There's not going to be one is going to taste different than the other. I season them all together. It should be just the same. The only difference is, is going to be the level of crispness here. I prefer the flats these days. I used to prefer the, uh, the drumsticks. It's just mood change, I guess. So I am going to try a wing first and this looks like the one I want there's my wing get a little close up there expected it to be. Now I'm going to grab one of the OMMO, OMMO wings. I have to tell you, this one looks the best right here. So that's the one I'm going to eat. Here we go. A little bit out of focus there. Here we go. That's much better. So, So, what are my final thoughts? They cook the same. The OMMO will cook a little faster, and I think that's more because it's slightly taller to the element, or slightly higher up and closer to the element. It's 1800 watts, so <clears throat> the temperature range when I open the door, it probably has a faster recovery. And I did open the door a couple of times because I had to check these because they are cooking different. They cooked faster than normal by about uh, two to four minutes, I would say. And that's mostly because the wings weren't packed and blocking the airflow from getting underneath the wings. So I'm going to say that uh, it will, it's going to cook them faster just because it uh, has a more area and the air can actually get between the wings, whereas in the go wise, they're smacked up against each other so the sides don't get as much heat as they would. So, what does this all mean? Um, let's go through the pros and cons of the both. The ONMO larger capacity. It's about 25% larger capacity than the GoWise. The GoWise 12.7 quart air fryer oven starts at 120. I've seen as high as about 140. The OMMO typically 165, but I saw it drop to 150 yesterday with the clip coupon on Amazon. Now Amazon does have a, uh, sorry, GoWise does have a larger air fryer oven. I think it was a uh, 14 point something. And that was actually closer to 180 at the time I looked at it. Now the GoWise does come with more accessories, so you really have to ask yourself what you're going to do with this. Here's my take. Doing the wings, I do a dozen at a time. The GoWise will cook them. It uh, needs a little longer to cook, but it'll do it. The OMMO is slightly larger uh, front to back and side to side, so it's going to allow more airflow and with that stronger uh, heating element, it's going to cook a little faster and the edges will be cooked a little bit more. Now, if I was cooking only wings and I was only cooking, let's say, six or eight wings for myself, the GoWise would be fine. However, I'm cooking a dozen wings at a time. So I'm going to say the OMMO o -M -M -O, uh, excels in that part. Now, uh, the <clears throat> where you're going to see that the OMMO is also going to do better is its overall larger capacity, 
height and depth, that means you'll be able to fit a slightly larger bird. I don't have a uh, size to tell you whether it's going to be, you know, four, five, six, seven pounds, whatever it is. I suspect it's going to be around five pounds and my air fryer, uh, go wise regular air fry i think i got like a four and a half pound bird in there i would expect four pounds maybe out of the uh go wise usa air fryer oven the ommo i'm definitely going to be able to get a five pound bird in there uh, as i mentioned not as many accessories as on the ommo as the go wise you don't get that uh rack you know with the fire far apart wires on it uh, is it going to be an issue probably not but I think they should have included one, especially at the slightly higher price tag that it goes for. Because again, that's ideal. The air fryer ovens in general aren't great for toast, although that's changed with like the Cuisinart. And uh, if you want to consider the Ninja an air fryer oven, sure. Um, speaking of the Cuisinart, I, uh, there was a problem with my original one. I was mad that the drip tray or the crumb tray, it wasn't removable. It is removable. Mine was stuck. So I returned it and I bought another one. So stay tuned for that as well with the Cuisinart. Um, and it was on sale at Costco for 160. So now you have another level, but the Cuisinart does not do rotisserie, but it does have bottom heating elements. So you can do uh, toast more evenly or better. So that being said, what am I gonna do? Yes? Can I have my real? In just a minute. So what's this all mean? So the go eyes is going away for a while and I'm going to give you a couple of reasons why. Um, uh, <clears throat> it's not a dig against go wise. They supported me in the past and that's great. However, I need the slightly larger capacity, the OMMO, and I think it's time for something new. I've had that go wise oven for a couple of years and people need and deserve to see something new. Plus for me to give it a final rating of how good it is. Is it worth the, the extra money for the extra capacity and so forth? I need to beat it up a little bit and beat up is what it's going to get. I'm going to be coming out with some more videos and I'm going to be cooking some of the foods I used to cook or have cooked already and some new foods. And I'm again, as I mentioned in the last video, I think I released four videos in like a week and I want to keep pumping these out again. And I love these suggestions. People, uh, I forget the person's name, but with the crumb tray, they're like, no, that crumb tray comes out. And I'm like, nope, I pulled it a few times. And uh, when I went to Costco, the one on display, it pulled out. So I, I always, always appreciate feedback. Uh, what else? Oh, these little ends here. I don't know if you can see those, but these are great to chew on. Thank you. I like getting the skin. I love those. Um, and I'm talking with my mouth full and someone's gonna get angry with me and someone else is gonna tell me to chew my food more. Anyway, so I uh, do wanna apologize. The video was longer than usual, but originally I was gonna break this up into two videos, but I think it was best that I did the cooking now. And I'm probably gonna discover more things about the OMMO that I like or dislike more. I love the OMMO panel. It is brighter. It's not that red that we used to with like the old alarm clocks. You can actually touch a button and immediately go to your settings with the go wise. You're pressing that button up to 16 times, 15 times. It's got 16 settings. Um, but I have a, a lot planned. I got another air fryer oven coming. And uh, I, again, I always appreciate the support from you. Anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. Hit the little notification bell and tell it how often you want to uh, get alerted to my new videos. And uh, that's all I got for you. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot. Don't forget to unplug the air fryer ovens, folks. Got two of them to unplug today. You want to say something? Like and subscribe. <laughs> she makes her own little YouTube videos now, and uh, she likes to say that at the end. Take him. Why not have another one? You want another one? Yeah. Uh, Pick which one you want. Yeah. And I need more milk. Sorry, I forgot.
with me. I'm not a princess. I'm glad you acknowledge that. Drink up. Like and subscribe. Um, I tell you, the old memo, the, the wings taste the same, but they were done quicker and more crisp. Crispy. It's everything so crispy. She likes crispy wings like me. We'll see you folks.